The reason that the first ASIN in Cerebro is recommended to not be one of the competitors that you're attempting to assess is because the first ASIN is used as the baseline and therefore the results won't actually be for that ASIN and you want to make sure that the results you see are for all of the highly competitive ASINs that you really want to track, that you really want to actually see the data for. So just to kind of illustrate this, we'll go, we'll go to Amazon and so the first ASIN that I choose when we go to Cerebro is going to end up being the baseline ASIN. So then when we pick, I'll just get two more real quick. When we compare that with two more ASINs, the actual data that is grabbed will be for those two ASINs. And you miss out on seeing the data for the first ASIN. And that is the entire reason why we recommend that you pick something that's not on page one because you really want to see the data for the stuff that's on page one. So something that's maybe on a farther page down you'll be able to not worry about missing out on seeing good data from a viable competitor. So just to illustrate, I've put three ASINs in Cerebro, I'm gonna click Get Keywords, and what you'll see uh, whenever the data populates is a whole bunch of keywords and rank positions and all the information that you'd want to get for a competitor. Um, but all of that data, like I mentioned before, is going to be for the last two ASINs, not the first one, because the first one was used as the benchmark. And so the data collected isn't for the benchmark, it's for the, the actual comparing ASINs. And now that we have pulled up three ASINs, see a bunch of data right here that is for those two comparing ASINs and we wouldn't want to miss out on that first ASIN and that's the reason why it's suggested that you use uh, a non-ranking or, or not really a big competitor as your first ASIN unless of course you can use your own ASIN uh, which works too so if you want to Submit your own questions. Be sure to check the links below, helium10.com forward slash questions forward slash ask. Uh, and then we might pick your question to be featured on uh, a future AMA. Also, uh, if you'd like to dive deep into some of these topics, uh, you can check out our blog and uh, we'll see you there.